Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is Muhammad. Ramadan Mubarak to everybody at home. I just wanted to share a few thoughts about something that I've been reading about the past few weeks that I thought was very interesting and that could serve as a good piece of advice and, and growth for me that I've tr been trying to implement and for all of us, inshallah. Um, and I just thought it was very interesting and definitely can be applied to our religious and overall lives, inshallah. So um, I want to start with a story, and there's a children's book um, that, that I was reading about the symbolic meaning, and the children's book is, it's called, There's No Such Thing as a Dragon. And the story is that there was a little boy who noticed that there was a baby dragon in his room. And he went to his mom and he said, uh, Mom, there's a dragon in my room. And she said, uh, Honey, there's no such thing as a dragon. And a week went by, the dragon got bigger, and every week the son would tell the mother, Mom, the dragon's growing, there's still a dragon in my room. And she would keep saying, Son, there's no such thing as a dragon. And then, a year went by, and the dragon was now a full-grown dragon, um, and it exploded and, and um, destroyed the entire house. And so the symbolic meaning of the story here is that if the mother would have just acknowledged the presence of the dragon at the beginning when the son told her, then the issue could have been resolved before the house was broken, before anything um, was destroyed. The mother chose not to acknowledge or believe that there was a dragon there, and by doing that, she pushed off the conflict until it was too big and too destructive. So I think um, what this means and what I've been trying to implement from it into my life is that it's very, we as humans naturally tend to let things sit. We tend to not want to uh, talk about things or uh, have any kind of conflict, and, and conflict really ups, upsets us. But on the contrary, by letting things, by being okay with everything, um, you're not taking care of yourself and you're just pushing things on to um, becoming, sitting there and festering and becoming bigger problems later on in life. So this can be applied to relationships, ideas, career, um, family matters. If something needs to be said, um, it's very important to be precise in your speech, making sure that what you are trying to communicate to your mom, your father, if it needs to be said, then make sure you understand each other's point of view and address the conflict immediately rather than letting it sit and wait and then five years down the road you all of a sudden blow up with all these emotions from things that happened so long ago when they could have just been addressed in the moment. So um, I think uh, it's a very important um, thing to keep in mind and something I've been trying to keep in mind that um, whatever it is, what, if there's a family member that you need to talk to, if there's a friend that, um, if there's just a feeling or an idea that you want to communicate or just anything, it's always better to address it when it needs to be addressed rather than just being okay and sweeping things under the rug because while conflict may seem uh, bad in the moment or when thinking about something you don't want to think about in the moment may seem terrifying, down the road it's only going to build up and be worse when you continuously sweep things under the rug. Um, so I uh, then went to look up to see uh, what kind of hadith or what kind of Islamic uh, knowledge can also be applied to this situation. Um, and I found a hadith on the Prophet who obviously is has the best character, the best personality, and um, I found an interesting hadith that ties into this topic. Uh, the hadith is on Anas, Anasin, on the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Annahu kana idha takallama bi kalimatin, aadaha thalathan hatta 
تفهم عنه وإذا أتى على قوم فسلم عليهم سلم عليهم ثلاثا. So translated to English, this is when the Prophet, peace be and blessings upon him, would speak, he would repeat himself three times until he was understood. Whenever he came to people and greeted them with peace, he would greet them three times. So uh, this hadith goes to show the Prophet himself, who again is the best character, the best personality, he made sure that he was precise in his speech. He made sure that he was understood. He never left anything um, to be interpreted by other people. A lot of the times, we sweep things under the rug because we don't want to impose on other people or we assume that they know what we are thinking. But the Prophet himself used to repeat himself three times to make sure there was no confusion, to make sure that he was understood and genuine and direct in what he was talking about in addressing conflict and in anything. Um, he used to do that. So. Um, I think uh, if we can all be a little more precise in our speech, not afraid to address things in our lives when they're happening, instead of being laid back and nonchalant and indifferent about things, then I think that can go a long way for our uh, mental health, our relationships, our um, lives in general, our religion, our relationship with God, and just make us uh, happier and live a more fulfilling life, inshallah. Um, so, thank you. Um, I hope that uh, this will this will help uh, to keep it in mind um, and help us achieve a life that uh, God is proud of, Allah is proud of, um, and be more fulfilling and meaningful in our interactions with each other, inshallah. Uh, so, thank you very much, and I uh, hope everybody has a uh, wonderful last 10 nights of Ramadan and Eid Mubarak, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.